Hi everyone, welcome to episode four of the Agronomy Minute. I hope you're all doing well and enjoying a little bit of sunshine in the last couple of days. I'm proud to announce that this week we're gonna have our first guest appearance on the Agronomy Minute. This week, Bob Thurwall from Bear Crop Sciences will join us. Bob is gonna dive in and talk a little bit about a new corn trade offering. We'll send it over to Bob now. Bob Thurwall here, market development agronomist with Bear Crop Science in Southwestern Ontario. And just want to update you today on our Tricepta corn treat. So who likes growing high yielding, healthy corn crop? I'm sure all of you do. So let's get right into it. So we're pretty excited to uh, talk about Tricepta rib complete today. This is our new trait that we introduced to Canadian farmers a year ago. And uh, it's really a broad spectrum control of above ground insects and most notably Western bean cutworm, as well as some other familiar insects that you'll see on the screen. So the Tricepta trait is a trait stack of our VT double pro trait that many of you have probably been growing recently over the last number of years. And we stack that with the Viptera trait to get that added Western bean cutworm control. So it's part of a tailored solution for the suppression of gibberella ear rot and reduce those DOM levels in your corn and is most effectively used when uh, you add proline fungicide applied at silking to again to help reduce those levels of gibberella ear rot fusarium and the subsequent DOM levels in your corn crop. So just a couple of pictures here. This is uh, under heavy, heavy pressure, a Western bean cutworm in southwestern Ontario. You can see all the shot holes from the Western bean cutworm and the husks there. We peel back the husks on those uh, same corn ears and you can see the uh, very heavy pressure here from Western bean cutworm. This is in a refuge hybrid. And then if we look at uh, a more recent picture in uh, the Tricepta hybrid, you can see uh, basically no feeding whatsoever from that Western bean cutworm very clean ears and no secondary infection from gibberella or fusarium in those ear tips. So if we look at what hybrid options are available for 2021, we've got four hybrid genetics available with the Tricepta trait. And uh, Darren is certainly your local expert for positioning of these products, but we've got 4870 at 2950 heat units. We've got DKC 5199 at 3,075. This is a hybrid we've seen for a couple of years now in the plots, has performed very well and, and seemed to like those lighter soils and those droughty conditions and does very well in those situations. We've also got DKC 5615, a brand new hybrid in the lineup this year at 3,175 as well as 5716 that we've seen for a couple of years now in that 3200 heat unit range. And the most exciting about, part about Tricepta, it's now fully approved in the EU. So we've been waiting for this approval. So we have some uh, very good elevator locations, uh, options that you can deliver to, certainly the Agris locations. And there is no grain channeling requirements required anymore. Um, so you, there's no paperwork, just go ahead and deliver it uh, to your local elevator. And uh, again, a summary of the four hybrids available next year. So from 2,950 units right up to 3,200. And again, would refer you to Darren for your local expert for positioning on your farm. Special thanks to Bob for giving us a hand with this week's episode. Some great information on Tricepta. Just to quickly reiterate, we no longer need a grain channeling form as Tricepta is fully European Union approved. If you're interested in growing any Tricepta this year in small quantities, or if you would like some more information as far as text sheets and local data, please let me know and I'd be happy to give you some of that information. With that, we'll wrap up this week's episode. Stay safe, stay tuned, and we'll see you next week.